Now here's an illustration to try to make the point of uh, performance points and the utility of them. Uh, let's pretend again that you've got some normal tags that are being scanned in a normal amount of time. So for example, let's say these are one second intervals and you've got a list of maybe 200 tags and for that interface those 200 tags are scanned in less than one second. So, so far so good. But what if we've got a different interface that's got much, much a greater number of tags? If, uh, if you've got that, or for example, just within the same interface, maybe you've got a scan class that has many more tags associated with it. And if it's taking one and a half seconds to scan through these tags, then you're really not getting one second scanning. Now these performance points are very simple to create. If you look in the a section of UniInt called performance points. Uh, it's really just a matter of deciding to create performance points for specific tags. Now this is that ping interface and I was measuring I think the ping rate to OSI soft using scan class 2. So if I simply say create that creates a performance point for me. So within a few minutes what I should see is it's going to be a value that is measuring the amount of time in milliseconds that it is taking to uh, scan that um, that particular tag. Excuse me, it's the amount of time in seconds that it's taking to scan through that list of tags in that scan class. Now you also find if you look in the uh, the notes on performance points, there is a mechanism for uh, doing this uh, manually, and there's also a summary that you'll find every eight hours. And it's it's in that summary that you'll find uh, things like the percentage of of scans that are missed and, and whatnot.